Hey guys, my name is Richie Blanton. I'm a music director and producer, and today I'm gonna to walk you through my Ableton Live Keys Rig. Um, for the most part, when I play keys, I'm functioning in like an aux keys role where I'm doing a lot of pads, um, doing a lot of synths and kind of doubling leads, that kind of thing. So I've developed an Ableton Live a template for keys that makes it really easy to just kind of put together different textures and sounds and kind of control it all live. Um, it's, you know, gives me enough freedom to do what I want, but not so complex that I have to relearn it every time. So, yeah, let's look at it now. Let's go to Ableton. All right, so we are in Ableton Live. I'm in Session View. Um, let me get my mouse over here. Yep, and let me walk you through a couple things. So this is what the template looks like when I open it. Um, I have a piano, a bunch of piano sounds that honestly rarely get used. As I said, I'm playing aux keys a lot, but it's there if I need it. Here's kind of a synth channel, and this has, um, I would say, lead type things, things that I would use to, um, I don't know, just synthetic tones, mellow, which is just mellow pads, um, bright, which are brighter pads, and then a drone section that I'll walk you through. So when I open the template, there's nothing there. Here's some songs I actually have done, but I'll show you real quick. Um, I'm using the chain selector to... to um, to work through different sounds. So like for mellow, um, if I click this Juno pad, which is something I made in Omnisphere. Oh, my drone pad's running. Let me turn that off. I'll walk us through that in a second. Mellow, I can pull this fader up. There's that. Um, if I click this Skyrim pad, I don't know why I named it that, but I did. There's that. Um, so that's kind of how things are laid out. Um, that's the overview. Everything's running into sins, and they're, so they're not coming out put here. They're actually running out of these sins and returns. So that's for a few different reasons. Um, it's mainly so that I can have like a master filter and a master way to just control outputs and sounds. So I've got all my keys running into this bus. Um, I've got a master shimmer bus that I can I can send shimmer from anything to it at any point. And then I've got everything except for the piano line here coming through this master filter. So you'll see here, like if I select this Skyrim pad and this Juno wide pad in the bright section, I can pull them both up. Like that. And then I've got this filter mapped where I can open it like this. And that way, really quickly, I can just pull it all down and get mellow. So that filter is a cool trick. And then this synth section is actually run into it too. So like I've got this um, pretty classic like DX sample thing sound here. But you can barely hear because the it's hitting the filter. Now the filter's opening up, so everything's routing there, um, and that makes for cool things like um, let's see what this is. Sounds like this. But you can filter down. That kind of thing. So yeah, that's the overview, and I guess the next best thing to do would be to walk you through just kind of some of the sounds and how I use them. Um, in the piano section, um, I've got some sounds from Sunday Keys here. Typical is Sunday Upright. Excuse some of the playing. Um, I'm, I'm kind of working with some crazy latency with the way I'm capturing this. Here's the SK Grand. So those are from Sunday Keys, but here's a couple of fun ones. Um, this growly key sound is like a lead sound I use all the time. And I think this sound is a really good example of the ability to have one sound that can just cover a ton of ground based on like knobs I'm using live. I don't have the controller I use live with me, so I'm gonna have to, you know, mess with some of these knobs on my computer um, with the mouse here. But here's what the sound is. Pretty typical you know, worship lead keys. But here's the cool part. If you like go all the way wet with the reverb knob, which I normally have this mapped to a, on a controller, and then I bring like a filter down.
I can get like an ambient texture out of it and then start to open the filter. That's a sound I use a ton. It's almost always on because I can bring it in as like an ambient texture. And then as I'm sweeping the filter open and pulling the reverb back, it can go from kind of an atmospheric hint at a hook to a really big hook. Um, another sound I have is um, this dulcimer. Pretty typical here. Um, again, everything in this piano channel is coming through this master kind of filter and reverb. So I can filter all that down if I want to. Which is really helpful live to be able to do all that. Um, and then that's pretty much it for that keys, that piano section. For the most part, when I'm doing aux, living in aux world, that's either completely off, or again, I'm using that growly key sound a ton. Uh, in this synth section, I got a couple fun things. This Jupiter Elite, let me make sure my filter's open. Um, and I should know that everything in this synth section, here's the effects chain it's running through that can be sent to any of these sounds. Again, I have a controller where all this is sent to it. So I've got this reverb, sidechain, sequencer, delay, chorus. Um, and then there's a shimmer as well I can send to it. So I'll, I'll walk through all that in a second, but again, filter. That's fun, whisper bells. Oh, it only starts up top. Lots of ambience there, DX. Similar texture, brassy synth. I like that sound a lot layered in with a pad uh, when I wanna like emphasize chords but don't wanna play piano. Um, so you'll get this kind of a thing. Which is a cool thing to be able to do. Um, then I played piano, but I still have a little bit of attack on it. Let me pull that pad back out. Uh, pluck synth. And pull the filter down. Um, and there's that. And again, everything's running through this synth chain. And I'll walk through more of that in this mellow section. So in the mellow section, I start with this Juno pad, which is a really classic kind of pad sound. I should say, this is coming from Omnisphere. Um, everything is either coming from Omnisphere or the Slate Digital. Um, I think it's called Anna 2. Or some of these sounds are also from um, a company called Sunday Sounds. So everything in mellow is running through... Um, this effects chain that has reverb, sidechain, sequencer, chorus, and delay. And I will show you what those do now because I'll hold this pad out and just show you. So if I turn up sequencer, sidechain, uh, reverb as well, I don't touch that much, delay, chorus, so the cool thing about the sequencer is you combine that with a filter, a pretty pad sound can get rhythmic really quick. You can open it up like that. So that's what all those knobs are doing. And again, that's not per patch. That's actually globally on the channel, which I really like. So as you switch sounds and stuff, however you left off one sound, like if you had the sequencer wide open, um, when you go to the next sound, that's how you're going to find it, which I like a lot. Uh, Skyrim pad. This is an Omnisphere patch I made that I really like. It'll get kind of big on you. Filter wide open. Some cool movement in that one. This is a bell pad. I don't really use this one ever.
It's cool. Uh, Oberheimer pad. This is a Sunday Sounds one. Um, it's cool. That one's really cool to combine with this brass scent I showed you earlier. So you get this kind of thing. Again, a lot of that's if I want to emphasize the attack of something. This bright section, walk through these really quick. These are, again, these are just bigger pads that just get a lot bigger. So here's Juno Wide. Sounds like the Juno I had a second ago. Um, I should say this B scent is a shimmer. And as you can hear, there's a lot of stuff hitting it. Um, brassy pad, for these I'll leave the filter open. As you can hear, that's really, really thin, but it blends nicely with the other stuff. And this is the same way. It's got the reverb down here, sidechain sequencer, so like. So you blend one pad that's got that sequencer with another one that doesn't, it creates some cool texture. I've got like an organ thing happening here. Organ is Sunday Sounds. Uh, trumpet synth, I don't fully remember this one. Four. That is a trumpet. Yep, classic saw. I use this one a ton because it gets dark like this. Has a ton of attack and then you open it up. It's really, really big. This string pad gets huge too. Key change. So I think you could probably hear how those all blend together to create a lot of fun things. But just to reiterate, every channel has its own kind of master chain of effects that I can control. Um, all of them have this separate, you know, side chain sequencer thing that I really love playing with. The last channel is a drone channel, and it's it's really just uh, I don't even remember anymore. Oh yeah, I stole this from Sunday Sounds, um, and these are just dummy MIDI clips that I have inactive, and I've got the I've got the output this the channel for the drone going to my MIDI controller. But the output of the whole thing audio-wise is still going to my master filter. So if I make like a new song, I'll show you here, new song, and it's in the key of G, I can drag this MIDI clip down and activate it. And then when I play the song, um, it'll fire. So it's running right now, the drone, and I can pull up this to have a drone pad. But the nice thing is um, the same filter that my pads are going through, this is going through. There's the filter up, there's the filter down. You can see it here, master filter. So that's nice, that that's kind of always running and doing things. And if I need to change keys, like let's go to the key of D. It's, it's fairly nice. Um, I don't use that on like every song as a given thing. I just find on some songs, um, I don't know, a drone can feel better than me playing big old fat pads, or maybe I'll do a drone and do like a lead thing with it. Um, for some reason, a lot in intimate piano moments, I like drones a lot better than um, kind of doing things with pads together. So that's a really quick overview of my keys template. Um, again, everything's in session view. I'm using chain selector, piano, synth, mellow, bright drone. The main thing to take away is on every channel, I have like a set of effects that I can pull for any time. And that does, the cool thing about that is any patch I make and I pull into this template, they'll all, the same knobs will always work to add side chain sequencer, filters, all that stuff. The knobs don't change. It all changes every time. I'll reprogram it every time. So from it all, I can get a lot of sounds. And what I found is I can get away with not using a ton of sounds. Like really, I use the the Rhodes, the Growly Keys, uh, this Brass Synth, um, the Juno and Skyrim pad a ton, and like this Juno Wide and Classic Saw probably 80% of the time. And with all those different knobs, I can cover a ton of ground. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.